Good afternoon. I am standing here at the home site, obviously, of, of Elizabeth Howe. And I was interested in finding out about where Elizabeth lived because I uh, discovered that her arresting officer in late May of 1692 was the son of Sarah Wilds, Ephraim Wilds. And Ephraim was the constable of Topsfield back in those days. And in late April of 1692, he was at home when the Marshal of Salem came and arrested his own mother and took her away from their home forever. And how ironic is it that uh, probably about a month later, Ephraim had to come out to Elizabeth Howe's home and do the same thing. Um, one can only imagine that it must have been a challenge for Ephraim. And it's so sad for Elizabeth because, as most of you already know, Elizabeth's husband was blind. And Ephraim would have known this. Um, and then after Elizabeth was taken away, her two daughters took care of her husband. Um, so I wanted to show you around a little bit about what it looks like today um, without evading the privacy of the present owners. This is a privately owned property at, right now. And it is just over the Ipswich line. Um, so down this way here is Topsfield, <laughs> believe it or not. And on this way is Ipswich. <laughs> So I'm just going to take you down the road a little bit and show you that, first of all, this beautiful stone wall here. By the way, the address is 417 Linebrook Road for those of you that live in the area and have never been out this way. So a little bit down this way from where I came. And I'm going to pause and cross the street. I'm sorry to say that I don't know the body of water that is down this way, but I don't know if you can see through the trees that there is some water down there. And I'm gonna bring you over to this beautiful entranceway that leads to um, the neighbor's house across the street. And Aim down a little bit. You can see this beautiful stone wall on this side of the road. Take you down a little bit too, because here's another beautiful stone wall over here as well. Cross back over while it's safe. And thank you everybody, very much everybody.